Hey, welcome to Gun Stuff. Today we have Faxon's new 9mm Bantam PCC. So we're going to take this out, we're going to put it through its paces, we're going to do some accuracy testing, and we're going to just have some just plain old fun plinking with it. So we're going to have some fun. All right. So we're gonna jump right into ammo testing and selection on this. And I got my friend Mike here with me. He's gonna be spotting for me today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be loading up a little bit of di all kinds of different ammunition through these mags. We're gonna, we're gonna uh, run through here for cycling just to see how cycling and goes. And then we're also gonna be seeing which ones hold better groups so that we know which uh, ammo to take when we go out for our, our long range testing and which one's gonna give us more accuracy. All right, so first thing we're starting off with is our Winchester Lawman 124 grain uh, hollow point. All right. Going for the steel. Ready? Ready. Going hot. All right. Good cycling on there. All right, so now we're going to move on to our next ammo. The, uh, the HST round. Okay. All right, now we're moving on to Magtech 115 grain. Hi. All right, that cycled well. They're all in the same group, too. Yeah, I think the Magtech's holding the hold pretty tight groups on this one. All right, so now we're moving on to our SIG Elite. This is 115 grain. Hi. High and right. Wide right. All right. Those all cycled well. All right, so now we're moving on to Fioki 115 grain. All right, so now we're moving on to the CCI Blazer 115 grain. All right, cycling. All right, so now we're moving on to the Liberty Defense. These are the ultralight rounds. Uh, these are 50 grain projectiles going about 2,000 feet per second. <laughs> Low. See where they're going. It goes so quick. I mean, it's not really. They're so light when they hit the steel. But yeah, then it's, as soon as the as soon as it's, it's traveling so fast that as soon as the gun goes off to get the report, you can barely hear the steel ring because it, it hits so quick. Uh, no cycling issues there. So, yeah, you were hitting. Yeah. All right. So we ran a bunch of different types of ammo through here. So now we're just gonna sit back. We're gonna do a little bit of accuracy testing, uh, and then we'll we'll move it back to uh, 100, 150, 200 with this thing. All right. 
All right, so now we're back at 200. Uh, wind's kicking up a little bit, but we have to go back into the uh, into the pin here and to, to get our 200 yard shot. And we both have to stand because uh, the terrain, the hill uh, covers part of the target there. So he's gonna be spotting from over there from, uh, from the other side of a tree. We got a telephone pole, a tree, and then a, a shooting between some trees and we're kind of threading the needle on this 200 yard shot. But we're gonna be uh, heading down and we're still gonna be engaging the steel at 200. So. All right, I'm gonna start off on the uh, big steel, and then uh, I'll move over to the to the ten. Ready? You're about good on windage, about six inches down from center mass. All right, going to going to the smaller steel. That was dead center, about two inches low from the red dot. Awesome. All right, so we're engaging a uh, piece of steel about 10 inches, about like this right here, uh, hitting pretty much dead center on it. Uh, so the heel is blocking the target. All I see is just the top part of the target. So I'm putting my crosshairs right on the top and it's the bolts kind of arcing and coming down and hitting uh, below, the, below the hill. So I really can't see the target that I'm hitting at. I just see just the top crest of it. Uh, but we're hitting there, so uh, this is about the extent of our range that we have today. So this thing is holding great groups at, at 200. So uh, it took us a while to find the right ammo combination, but we really like it. So we're going to go ahead and move back up. Uh, we shot our Faxon. Uh, we, we put the Leopold on there just for the accuracy testing, and we've done that. We took this thing all the way out to 200 yards. Uh, held great groups. We were hitting 10 inch still at 200 yards, which is which is more than acceptable for a 9 millimeter PCC. Uh, so now we've taken the this scope off. We, we're, we've thrown our uh, close in optic on here and some of our accessories. And we're going to go through some of our training scenarios with it. And we're just going to sit here and, and and just have some fun, some up close plinking stuff, which is is really kind of what these things are really designed for. So now we're just going to go ahead and jump in here and just send a lot of rounds downrange. Man, these are so much fun. So the only problem with this is that as soon as you start shooting these, you're gonna go through a lot of bullets. So you gotta make sure you buy this stuff in bulk. So one of the things I'm seeing that I really like about this also is the fact that uh, the, the magazine release here is, is, has a, the ridge around it just like your uh, typical AR. So I'm not accidentally engaging this uh, sometimes when I, because my, my instinct is to come up finger along the, finger along the slide, uh, or sorry, finger along the uh, receiver here. And uh, with some of the other models, sometimes I hit this and it releases. So this has the protective ridge around it. This also has a really good uh, recoil impulse. Uh, this, the buffer and the bolt itself in here is, is, seems to be a little bit heavier than your average uh, nine millimeter PCC that we shot before. So uh, what I think what that's doing is that's absorbing a little bit more of the recoil, gives it a, gives a little bit better uh, re recoil impulse. So it's not, it's not kicking as hard when it comes back and hits your shoulder. It gives you a little bit more time to recover uh, and get back onto the next shot. <laughs> All right, Mike, you want to jump in? All right, so we're up here at the VTAC boards. Uh, we're just sending a bunch of rounds down range. Uh, so far, this thing has taken everything we're throwing at it. Uh, we haven't had a single malfunction. We haven't had a single um, 
backup, anything, misfeed, misfire, nothing. So, uh, so far this thing has taken everything we could throw at it. So we're going to get on the VTAC board. Mike, you're going to call out a course of fire and we're just going to go through a couple times, all right? All right. Two in squares. <laughs> that last one was a little tough. I was on my tippy toes. Oh man, oh, so that's why we get out here and we train, so we can make all these mistakes out here on our transitions, on running out of ammo, going to our backups, getting our gun back up and running, hits, misses, all that stuff, so you gotta get your reps in. But we're having a good time out here today. We're just gonna keep on loading, we're gonna keep firing. All right, so we were able to get this thing out on the range and run it. We've ran it most of the day so far, uh, and we've put just about every type of ammunition you could think of through this. Uh, so we just want to give you a quick rundown. This is the Faxum Bantam, and this is a 9mm pistol caliber carbine. Uh, this is new to market, uh, just dropped today or yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, just to give you a quick rundown, it, it comes with the SB Tactical three position arm brace here. So this is registered as a pistol because this is an arm brace on the back. Uh, uses a standard mil spec buffer tube and castle nut, all these, all these good parts, uh, A2 grip. Uh, moving on, this has a forged upper and lower receiver set. So it's gonna be able to take a little bit more abuse uh, because it is forged. You got uh, the magazine, has a, a nice magazine release here. One of my favorite things about this uh, magazine release is the fact that it has a covering around it so you're not accidentally hitting it on anything. So you can't disengage this, drop a magazine out. Uh, it has a nice, really nice beveled magwell on here. Uh, a nice crisp trigger. Trigger's probably breaking right around four or five pounds. Uh, and this is a Glock patterned 9mm as well. So one of the great things I love about this is it comes with a 30 round ETS mag, uh, but you can also run any other Glock mag through it as well because you can then transfer from your, uh, so this is our Fax and Hellfire, you can go from your pistol to your rifle depending on how long a shot you wanna make. We were able to take this thing out to uh, 200 yards today and be able to hit a, uh, 10 inch uh, steel gong. So we are able to take this all the way back, uh, engage targets all the way out. So if you're running low on ammo, you can take your ammo from your pistol, feed it into your rifle, engage longer shots. Uh, this also uh, has, because of the mag release on here, this also has a last round bolt hold open. And I just want to show you guys that real quick. Has a really cool little thing on here for your last round bolt hold open. As the mag comes up here, it hits this little bar and it just locks to the rear. So that way you're gonna get your standard AR uh, functions on here. So whatever, no matter what you're training with, if you're training with your ARs, it's still gonna lock to the rear just this, exactly the same way. This has a 10 and a half inch barrel. Again, this chambered nine millimeter comes with a, comes with the A2 bird cage, uh, bird cage flash hider on here. Of course, this can come off and uh, you can, it's still threaded half by 28, so any other muzzle devices you wanna put on here. They're running a nine and a half inch, or a nine inch M-lock uh, Faxon uh, proprietary rail, has a nice big, uh, 
lock on the bottom here so it has this uh, brace that goes across between the two bridges the two really pulls that down locks it down super tight so you can really wrench on these hand guards and they're not going to move on you uh, today we ran uh, the Leopold scope on it for the long range accuracy then we threw our Swamp Fox optic on here for all our up close stuff and had a lot of fun with it but also one of the things I wanted to show you on here with the with the bolt is this uses a standard mil spec uh, charging handle so most of the parts on this gun are mil spec uh, so you can replace or find replacements in the field relatively easy uh, just wanted to show you their bolt carrier group so they have a really slick bolt carrier group I'm trying to move this into the light here uh, so this is their enhanced bolt carrier group this thing uh, worked like a champ today it has the AR style extractor on here and theirs has an added weight in here and so they've got the weight and the buffer uh, in the spring and everything uh, timed out just right for this uh, rifle uh, cycled really great the recoil impulse was really good uh, one of the things that we're finding out with uh, are these nine millimeter PCCs is that you really have to take time on your ammo selection you have to jump in get a get a bunch of different types of ammo test it out see which kind of ammo yours likes today ours was the uh, was the federal premium uh, this was a federal premium 20 124 grain hydroshocks so believe it or not the hydroshocks were the most accurate rounds shot through this rifle today and we we're able to hold very tight groups let's say about six inch groups or, or less at 200 yards with this so we absolutely love this rifle and we hope that you guys will be seeing more of it and we hope you like it too we'll see you next time on gun stuff